can you hear that? That is the sound of silence. I'm going to do it again. That is the sound or the lack of sound of an electric car. Electric cars are silent by their very nature. They have no combustion engine. But there's a lot of noise that comes from the car actually rolling on the road. And this road noise and all the other environmental noise is what BMW spent a lot of time and effort making sure that you don't hear or feel in the iX. The cabin is insulated so that you don't hear the road noise. But when you look at this iX, you can just see how much detail has gone into designing this car. And in fact, in most car reviews, the reviewer would walk to the front of the car and go, look at this massive, incredible, impressive, well-designed engine. But in the iX, the only thing that opens on the bonnet is that. And that is so that you could put water into your windscreen wipers. The part that most people recognize from BMW is this very iconic grill. But what's interesting about this grill is that it's self-healing. It's made of some kind of gel or material. If it gets cuts or scratches, leave it in the sun for a day and it would just heal itself. So you have an electric car with a self-healing grill and no noise. So let's take it for a drive and see how soundlessly it drives, but also how powerful this remarkable car is. But before we drive off, let me just show you how insanely luxurious this car is inside. You start the car and it adapts to your user profile. The car has a logged in profile. It knows how long my legs are, it knows where I like my steering wheel, and it knows what I like set up on this rather extraordinary 75 centimeter touchscreen. The curved screen is, is, is such a useful interface. Over here you have all of the stuff you would expect. Driving speed, how much battery you've got, where you're going, your usage, um, but all of the other stuff that you would possibly need is here. This touchscreen is really remarkable. Tap on any of the specific panels and you can get, for instance, information about the car. Really cleverly designed interface to show you just what the car looks like. The navigation, which it comes built in or it can use from your phone. I'm an Apple user, so it uses Apple's CarPlay very easily. You can have every kind of setting that you possibly want in the car setup. If you don't want to touch the screen or if you can't quite reach the top left corner of the far side of it where you turn the climate control off or on, BMW have been using this dial for a long time. It's simple, it's robust as an interface, and it works really simply. So one of the fascinating things you notice is that not only are the dials Swarovski crystal, but so are these adjustments for the chair on the side. And if you look on the door, you'll notice another usual item on a car that's not there, a handle. The way you open this car is you just push that button. Clip. Because this is a car review and I've been told I have to review all the things you do in a car, I'm going to talk to you about something I have almost certainly never discussed in my life before. The seats of a car. Why would we be talking about the seats of the car? Because this is remarkable. Just look at this amazing quality of leather. And in fact, it's vegan leather. So no animals were hurt in the making of the seat. You have two USB-C car chargers right here. When you put your phone in, you put your phone in this clever little slot here, which has a little gap through the bottom so you can plug your phone charger into it. It's just really simple. At the back of these seats, each of them has two USB-C chargers. This is what you need for a car that has lots of kids in it, don't you? Can you hear that? Can you hear how amazingly quiet it is? Let me close the window so you can hear just what an awesome 
bubble of silence BMW have created inside the RX. BMW prides itself on the performance of its cars and that's what's so fantastic about this car is that it is the very essence of luxury, premium quality finishing and insanely good performance. I was never a petrol head growing up. I'm, I'm not really interested in how a combustion engine works and tuning spark plugs as my friends did. But what I'm really interested in is this future of automobiles with these kinds of electric cars. I think I'm probably what's now called a battery head. The top of the range iX has a 115 kilowatt battery in it. Now, to give you a sense of that, most suburban homes will have 10 to 15 kilowatts. My house has 14.4. That means I could run my house off this car for 10 days if I needed to. It's fantastic. And I, and I have this feeling that that is one of the use cases that we're going to start seeing in the world. You charge your car from your solar system at home and if there's an emergency, you run your home from your car. Isn't that just ideal? I always thought sheer driving pleasure was a great payoff line for BMW because it is exactly what you get, but you also get significant power. <laughs> this is great. The acceleration is insane, as is the braking. It's so smooth, it is so slick, it's hard to beat this for sheer driving pleasure. The BMW iX is BMW's vision of what the future of motoring looks like, from the electric car to the sound bubble they create for you inside the car, to all of the other incredible features that they've packed in, not least of which is this remarkable curved touchscreen interface. If this is the future BMW predicts for motoring, it's a pretty good future. Don't mind me, I'm just going to carry on driving. As they say in my country, sweet my breath.